Okay, and this is step two of the Unreal Bot. I am going to show you guys how to install all of the add-ons, and then I'm going to show you how to run the bot. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is, like you saw, I hit private access because you are a paid member. Um, and we are going to go to ABA only because I know right where the stuff is go to how to use the Alliance Valiant Arms cheat you've already downloaded the bot we saw that in step one <clears throat> so you're gonna scroll down till you get to the second post by compressor Anyways, 64-bit um, operating system, you have to install them all. If you're a 32-bit, then you just do the ones that say 86. So you're going to click each one, go to their website, and download the ones that apply to you. When you download them, they're automatically going to come here. Um, or if you're using Google Chrome, if you're not, then they'll be saved in your downloads folder. Regardless, you're going to open them up, you're going to click run, the files are going to run, mine's going to say it's already been installed, but I'm just giving you guys a quick outlook and show you how to do this. So, I have read the terms, 15 megabytes, it tells you how long, install, it's going to go ahead and download, I already have net frameworks. So at some point it's going to tell me that there's no need for this, but. Obviously these videos are going to take a little while, so I'm not going to go through each and every download with you, but you're going to copy the same exact procedure. Start at the top, work your way down at the bottom. They're all Microsoft downloads. They're all very easy to install. They all install themselves. You just click and click run. Once you've installed them all, you can go and restart your computer. Um, remember that the bot... I mean, the actual reactor and Steam run on Internet Explorer doesn't matter what your default browser is. So you can go ahead and clear your cache for your um, Internet Explorer. And if you don't know how to do that, you can Google it um, or I'll make a video on it. But you can also go and um, download CC Cleaner, which I'll show you in a second. Very easy to use and it clears all your cache, clears all your information and um, also clears all your RAM all the stuff that you need to make your computer run a little faster um, this should be done here in a minute and then I can show you a couple more things Alright, now the download is finished, so I'm going to click finish. Like I said, you just go back, you're going to go through the whole list, start to finish. Then you're going to restart your computer. You're going to open the, the bot. Once you open the bot, you're going to stream the cheat for the game you're going to play, and then open the game that you're going to play. I'm going to show you this in other videos. Um, like I said, I'm going to go through step by step installing, running it, and actually using this thing. 
start to finish. I know it's a lot easier for people to watch videos than it is to read. Um, but you can see again, it's very simple. You download, the download pops up. You click the exe file. This is if you're using Google Chrome. If you're using Foxfire, I think it goes into your uh, downloads. Internet Explorer it goes into your downloads. But it downloads the files, it installs them. It's pretty simple to use. I mean, it's this one's done. The Net Frameworks is probably the longest one. We've done the first two. Go ahead and do the third one and then download it. You'll see 64 bit. I go ahead and click on it and it automatically opens once it's done downloading. I'm going to run this one. Um, it tells me I don't need it. So that's three. I moved down 2008. Um, I think this one's going to say I don't need it too, but like I said, I'm going to go through and run them all anyways. I've read and accept. Now again, just because I have time-wise, these videos cannot be more than five minutes per video, so um, we've got two more downloads. I'm going to skip them, same process, but I do want to show you um, two more quick things. Okay, so once you're done doing this, you're going to restart your computer, but you can go in, if you watch, I, I went to Start Menu, Computer, from Computer I go into C Drive, IJJI, then you click English, ABA, Binaries, Game Guard, and you delete everything in this folder. So you highlight it all, you right click, and then you click delete. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete these? You click yes, and then you're going to empty your recycling bin. What this is going to do is reset your Game Guard. Not that you definitely need to do it, but like I said, it, it does make things easier. You can also go into CC Cleaner. Like I said, this is that product I was telling you about. If you look, it automatically gets rid of your internet files, history, cookies. It'll clear your cache. It does all of your um, memory dumps, clipboard. You can add DNS cache, font cache. Um, it does your registry fixes, your tools. You can do your startup so that, st but you don't have a bunch of stuff starting up when your computer runs. I only keep the basic stuff that I need on here. Um, you can delete your system restores to free up space. Pretty cool tool. Anyways, um, so you just click Run Cleaner. It says OK. It'll run through. It'll clean all of your memory. And then <clears throat> you can restart your computer. Now, it just it's doing my cache obviously Google Chrome still open but Google Chrome's not affected with um, ABA so now that that's done we've installed all the files we can go ahead and restart our computer